Yo, welcome back to Mal TV. Gonna talk about a very important thing for metalers, your fucking denims. Now I'm gonna start off showing you an under denim. That is denim that is designed to go under shit. And here's my one. There you go. It's gone for a black and white at the front and a full colour mini spread at the back. You'll notice that this is quite a small denim. As I said, it's an under denim. So there's no back patch on here because the back patch would have actually filled up beyond the back panel. So I'll just uh, put a bottom runner there and some standard patches in, bish bash bosh. And I'll show you the size of that on me. There you go. And you see, it's a waistcoat in size. It's very small and it fits under things such as a hoodie. And there you go, bish bash bosh, an under denim. A denim that goes under something. So that's the kind of shit you'll be wearing in a club. So if you're in the UK, you're normally in a club or a pub, you're going to see that kind of denim because that's the one that goes under your overcoat. This is a medium over denim. This is a bleacher. It's just got some pin badges on the front, a few spikes, and a custom venom paint job on the back. Bleached out and painted it. I painted it many, many years ago and I bleached it a bit more recently just to uh, inject a bit of uh, depth to it because I didn't want to patch it up because this was a painted one so I kept it in the old school. Uh, one thing I'll say about people with spikes on their shoulders, if you've got long hair then they will catch your hair underneath those little lips and you'll end up pulling a lot of your hair out. So if you've got long hair, shoulder spikes ain't advisable really. Anyway. This, as I said, is a medium over denim. So, if I just chuck this on again, you'll see it in its standard way of being worn. And there you go. So that's got ample enough fucking shoulder and armpit space to fit sleeves through. And there you go, that's how that one would look. You'll wear that on the street as you're getting somewhere. When you get in, You'll probably hit a cloakroom and you won't see it again. Now, also got patch over denims. And this is a blanket denim. Good water on the front. And that's why it's called a blanket denim. Because it's got so many patches, they've gone together like a patchwork quilt or a blanket. So there's uh, not very much denim space through there. There's quite a few patches overlapping. Not overlapping the print, but overlapping patch. So blanket denim, again, one for going over things. And this one is a large over denim. So you get Power Ranger shoulder. You get a little bit of space there. And uh, enough around there to even go over a leather jacket. So uh, you'll probably see these with people uh, colder festivals or whatever. Even over biker jackets, if you're on a motorbike, you might see this kind of size. Now this is a medium over denim. This will be able to be worn over or under. So, I'll just show you over. It's a little bit smaller, but not too much. It says a reduction in power range of shoulder. There's not real much overhang there, and it fits pretty tight to the body if it is ever buttoned up, which it isn't. But if you go to a pub or club or whatever, you just got to chuck off your uh, hoodie and bish bash bosh. It works as a waistcoat with minimum power range of shoulder, but still without being ultra mini mini mini. So that's all right. That's the one I wear the most. Now finally, out of my selection that I've brought out, I'll just chuck this fucking on again. We've got my other large over denim. This one is a Larry fucking bad boy white one. And this is uh, one I actually wear at winter. This is a winter denim. It's uh, one of the main reasons I did it in white, because I wear a lot of white when it snows, and it's actually been snowing in the UK quite a lot at the moment, which is surprising because it's just hit spring here. But um, yeah. If you patch on the front again, blah blah blah. Rather nice white back patch. Death Angel back patch, but this actually has a white border, see that? 
I thought it was very nice. It's not very common to find white patches. Yeah, I've got fucking hip hop and shit on here as well. I love it. I love everything. I'm a nice person. So fuck you. And this is big enough to go over a lever as well. Because as I said, it's a winter one. So you're going to be wearing thicker jackets and more layers, etc. There you go. See, it's fucking got plenty of space to fit your fucking shit in, gloves and all that. It's, it's an over one. Woo! A bit like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Got a bit of Power Ranger shoulder. Like I say, it's got a fit over leather jackets and multiple layers. So, that's that one. So there you go. That's anyway, the sizes. And uh, it's always good to have a few. And the styles as well. As you can see, we've got fucking bleach ones, white ones, and the standard ones. Um, It's always good to have a few. There's five there, I've got another one on the go, and I'll show you that another day. But uh, if you've got one, upload your fucking shit, and let's have a look, because nothing better than looking at the patches on. Sweet.